In today's video, I want to sit down and talk to you about my book. It feels so surreal that I'm actually sitting down talking to you about this book after ages, after years of having this in my mind and in my heart. And it's finally in print and it's just so nice to look at. So I want to answer a few questions so that you get a practical picture about what this book is, why I wrote this book, about the cover design itself, who this book is for also. I wrote this book because of two reasons. First of all, God told me to write a book back in 2015 when I received the promise that I will have a son. Um, God also told me a couple of weeks after that that I need to make a note of it. I need to write it out and publish it. Back then, in 2015, <laughs> when I got that promise, I didn't take it seriously at all. I didn't even believe that I would be writing a book because I never set out to be an author. I've never really published anything professionally. Of course, I've written for school magazines and my blog and things like that, but never really like a professional writing thing, you know? So I didn't grow up thinking I'm going to be an author, thinking that I'm going to publish a book. When I had this thought from God, I didn't think that it was going to become a reality and I obviously had no clue how long it was going to take for it to come. But I knew that it was such a powerful thing that I needed to make notes. So I was journaling bits and pieces of it, um, but because in my mind I didn't really take it too seriously, I didn't start writing from the very beginning, but I carried it in my heart all along. And secondly, another thing that convinced me to actually write it and to publish it is because I didn't see anything like this on the bookshelf at all. There's this famous anonymous quote that says, if you don't see a book on the bookshelf, write it yourself. And I've never seen anyone talk about this. And I've never seen anyone experience what I did, or rather, people never spoke about it. So while I was going through what I was going through in the last couple of years with you know, my fertility journey and having Levi, um, I was struggling. I thought I was the odd one out who was suffering, who had experiences that no one else did and I didn't know who else to turn to at all. This isn't just my own story, it's so many other people's story also. The minute I realized that, I knew I had to put aside my reservations and actually publish this book. People needed to know that it is going to be okay. If God has promised something, He will definitely fulfill it. In my case, it didn't look as if God was going to fulfill His promises at all because it took so many years. And in fact, in the process of waiting, I started doubting everything. I started doubting the promise from God. I started doubting whether I heard from God in the first place, whether it was for me or not. There's just so many things jumbled up at that point. The journey towards a destination and the process towards a promise is very, very unclear sometimes. You hear a promise from God, but when it takes much longer than you anticipate it to, we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. However, although we don't see it, and no matter how long it takes, it is going to be okay. If God promises, He will fulfill it, but He will do it in His own time and not our own time. We are always so focused on the destination itself that we forget the journey. And I was exactly like that. I was so focused on the destination that I completely lost sight of the entire journey of it. People always question me how I managed to find time to write a book and publish it. If you don't know me, I've got a 13 month old son now and I only started writing this book when he was about three or four months old. Um, as in, like I said earlier, I started journaling bits and pieces so I only kept like important dates, hospital appointments, blood tests and you know the entire process of it and how many years it took and all of those things but I never really wrote it until after Levi was about three or four months. So to answer the question as to how I found time, I would write um, on my phone. My phone and my MacBook are synced up. So I would write on my phone while I was nursing him in the middle of the night while everyone else is sleeping. Or I would write when he had gone to bed for the night and I would also wake up at four in the morning when I finish his nursing. At about three or four in the morning, I'll stay awake and then I'll write it. It's It wasn't intentional that I woke up at four o'clock and I would find time to write while I was nursing or when he goes to sleep. It's just that the vision kept me awake. The vision woke me up at four o'clock in the morning until I finished it. 
So I, I got really serious about writing. I was finishing up the last couple of chapters and everything when Levi was about nine months old. So that was in January this year. Um, yeah, December, January time this year. And at that point, I couldn't sleep. I literally couldn't sleep. I woke up at three or four. Sometimes I would be awake at two o'clock and I couldn't go back to sleep at all. So I'll get up um, and come out of the room to sit at my computer and to write. And I wrote and I wrote and I wrote. And I just don't know how. It's definitely the Holy Spirit. It's definitely God. But the flow, it kept coming until I finished writing it. I knew I had to finish it. So I sat down and did it. By the time I got really serious about the book, I had completely run out of excuses. Like I told you, God had given me the promise back in 2015, but I had excuses after excuses. I kept thinking, um, I, I kept having this imposter syndrome thinking, who would ever want to read my book? Why would people want to read my book? Why will people want to know my story? But when I realized that um, it is important and the story needs to go out and it needs to encourage people, it will encourage people, I knew I had to do it. So by the time I had run out of excuses and I made time, we all have time, we all have the same 24 hours that everyone else has as well. It's a matter of prioritizing the right thing. At the time I knew I had to write and finish the book, I prioritized writing over everything else. So YouTube videos took a backseat and my personal relaxation like watching movies or you know, going out and sleeping <laughs> definitely took a back seat. I had to sacrifice sleep and watching movies and making YouTube videos so that I could make time to write for this because um, Levi was non-negotiable. My time for him was non-negotiable at all. So everything else became a negotiable event. This book is for anyone and everyone who has had a promise from God but it has not been fulfilled as yet. This book is to encourage them and to give them hope that they are on the right track. Focus on the process, not with the intention of finding fault, but with the hope of knowing that God is in control of everything. During my process of waiting, God was clearly in the background playing a major part of everything but I just didn't see it. While I was writing the book is when I realized when I tried to take my own initiative and do things out of my own effort, I realized that God was in it throughout, you know, but at that time I didn't see it at all. So this book is to encourage you and to give you hope that it is going to be okay. Even if your promise is not fulfilled, it will be okay. It's also for people who have been questioning God and who have been doubting themselves whether they heard from God right or not from the very beginning. My story is about having Levi, a child and a life that I didn't anticipate or imagine to be at all. Your story could be completely different. It could be about maybe your career. You could have um, received a promise about your future, your partner, your work, uh, maybe even ministry, so many things, moving countries, just so many things that I can think of and probably that I can't even think of. The journey towards a promise is not always the easiest, which is what makes us value it even more so when we eventually receive the promise. This book is especially for everyone who needs to know that they are not alone on their journey towards their destination. Um, which is a promise eventually. You are never alone in your journey. God is always with you. And there are so many other people in the same boat as well. It's just that people don't talk about it. I knew I had to be open and be real because God has called me to write this book and to share my story with the others to encourage them uh, who are in the same boat also. Lakshman designed this cover for me only because um, we were running out of time. I went to my publisher and I told him that I wanted this book ASAP and publishers normally take about six months but my publisher was willing to process it for me within six weeks and he actually delivered uh, upon his promise. In order to make that deadline we had to kind of you know help him with the cover design and everything i just wanted to put in random pictures like you know pinterest board stuff and everything and send it to my designer uh not my designer to my publisher so that their designer can do it but then lakshman went a step ahead and designed the cover for me so i told him what i wanted and he did it for me if you look at this this background here you can see a silhouette of a woman in the background 
pregnant woman and she's looking up so the idea is that I am looking up to God throughout my pregnancy even before the pregnancy I was looking up to God expecting from him hoping from him although I was still fighting with him so that's looking up to God and this is me from my maternity photo shoot while I was pregnant the background here you can see a faint rainbow the idea of that is God's promise because God had promised me about this child and I've plastered the rainbow everywhere possible ever since I was pregnant right from day one the day we found out we were pregnant we saw a rainbow multiple rainbows on that day and then my theme for the nursery my theme for you know Levi's birthday and baby shower everything was all about the rainbow to remember God's promise This book is all about the process to the promise. God promised me back in 2015 that I'll have a child, but the journey was a very, very difficult uphill journey. We struggled a lot. Um, fertility, non-fertility issues and everything. I don't want to be talking to you about it here in this video, but you can read that in the book. I've explained everything in detail in the book. We just couldn't get pregnant at all. We were losing our pregnancies um, and yeah, we, we just took such a long time and we didn't understand why we were not getting pregnant, why we couldn't have a child. And yet, I still had it at the back of my mind about this promise. So at the end of the journey, when I did get pregnant, I started recalling the process of it. And I realized the process to the promise is what builds you and encourages you, you know. That is what gives you hope towards a promise and that's what makes you value the promise a lot more and the process that i went through is what a standard person would actually do but not many people talk about it at all so while i was struggling and suffering in the background in silence i thought that i had done something wrong i thought that i was the only one struggling like this and no one else was you know i had so much doubts and i had uh, so much concerns and i was literally battling with god almost every single day I was fighting with God about the promise that he gave me and about the fact that we still didn't have a child and we didn't know when we would have a child so I was so impatient and I couldn't wait at all but I realized that the promise is a different thing altogether the process and the promise goes hand in hand there is no such thing as receiving the promise without the process the sooner you accept the process the easier it will be for you to receive your promise i didn't realize this combination at all while i was struggling for that many years in between but for future references i know what to do now if things doesn't seem like it's going the way i want it to be i will know that it is going to be okay My book is available on Amazon and Waterstones online. I will leave links to it down below so that you can click on it and check it out yourself. And if you're in the UK, you can buy it from me directly. Just drop me a line and I will get back to you on how you can purchase it from me. My prayer is this book will reach the hands of the people who desperately need it. I pray that you will partner with me to get it to as many people as possible and you who are reading it will find it encouraging and motivating also. And I really hope that God speaks to you um, in your times of difficulty and in your series of doubts. Help me in spreading the word to everyone. Share this video with your friends and family. Buy a book for yourself or your friends and your family, anyone whom you think would benefit from it. Like I said, my story is one of um, having Levi, but anyone else's story could be about different things. But it is all about the process to the promise. And know that it is going to be okay, even if things don't work out according to your plan, according to your timing and your estimation, it's going to be okay.